Hey guys, what's up? So, uh, I want to show you how to overclock your computer without using any additional hardware. Uh, so Windows has a setting where you can make your processor run slower or faster depending on your needs and depending on the amount of electricity that you want to expand. And this is especially useful if you are on a, lap on a laptop and you're running on battery. Uh, and you want to make it last a few hours longer or a few minutes longer, you can downclock the processor or max it out, which is not technically, not technically overclocking because you don't go above the clocking, above the uh, clock speed of your processor, but you max it out at 100% all the time. And Windows has a hidden setting where you can do that. So what you are, are going to do is on your task on your taskbar, go to the battery icon and right click it and select power options. And on Windows 10 you probably are going to have only this setting balanced. Uh, but before we used to have high performance and power saver on Windows 8. But Microsoft took that away, at least on my computer on a recent update. But I can still go and create another uh, high performance setting. Um, just select uh, power, create a power plan and uh, select high performance and just give it a name. Click next, click create. And now click change plan settings change advanced power settings. And now on this pop-up, you're gonna make sure you are on high performance and scroll down to processor power management. Click on minimum processor state and on battery, just click on that and just type 100. And plug into the wall, just make sure it's on 100 and go down to maximum processor state on battery, make sure it's on 100 and plugged in 100. System cooling policy is probably gonna be on active, which means that the fan is gonna be running all the time because you're gonna be maxing out the processor so it's, your laptop is gonna be really hot. Just make sure it's, it is on active and just click okay. And that's it. Your processor is going to be running 100% all the time. It's going to be running a lot, a lot smoother. Uh, it's probably not going to be as powerful as, uh, I don't know, whatever the fastest processor is right now. But it's going to be running pretty, pretty fast. And especially if you already are on a high-speed processor, it's going to be still going to be running so much faster. So I hope that helps. And uh, thanks.